So in this video we're going to look at how you can graph the response of a particular intervention on both a team and individual athlete uh, level. Quite important to do because when you just look at the response uh, based on the team average, you might come to the conclusion that a particular intervention uh, didn't work. And in this example I've computed the effect size where you'll know it's trivial. So really you'd probably think you know, at this point that let's not run this intervention anymore. However, when you overlay that with the individual athlete responses, you'll note that actually some of them performed um, uh, a lot better after. So it's, it's certainly worth running for them. For others, you'll note that there was uh, no real effect. And if there was any time or cost implications, you'd, uh, again, you'd knock it on the head. For other athletes, it will warn you against something that's actually quite detrimental to, to their performance. I guess by way of example, um, recovery interventions such as cold water immersion um, could, can set the context for this, whereby for some athletes it seems to work great and they really respond well to it. Uh, for others, it, they could take it or leave it and there are a, a group of athletes that it seems to cause more stress than, than it alleviates. So let's have a look at how we can um, put this uh, graph together. So first of all, we're going to chart up the uh, mean uh, scores. Let's get rid of these horizontal uh, lines. And what we have to do is go in and um, add uh, each individual athlete's data. So we click add series name is athlete one. And we have to, have to tell it where the data is, so just here. And you can see that it's going to be quite a laborious task. I'm sure there's a quicker way to do it, but I'm not aware of it as of yet. Athlete 2 data is here. And I'll just use this uh, next example to show you what you might need to do if the data isn't arranged uh, uh, next to each other as my example is. So you would just click add a comma and then go and find your uh, uh, other corresponding data. So obviously I'll just click here. I'll press OK at this point and I'll go to one that uh, I made earlier. So once you've added in all of the all the athletes data you'll have it in a, in a bar chart form but we just need to go and click on each athlete in turn. So we find the first athlete. You'll click the change series uh, type and then uh, the, the chart options will come up if they're not there already. And this is when we'll just go and click to change it to a, a line graph. And you're gonna have to do that again for each individual athlete. Okay, so let's just format the graph a little bit so that um, we can look and analyze the data a bit better. We'll just format uh, the uh, axis. So I'm gonna change the minimum score to 1.8 and maximum to 2.3. You can see it starts to get a little bit clearer. Of course, we should um, always plot the error bars so we'll, we'll just put the error bars on top and we'll specify where that is so this is where we find the standard deviation we also want to use some of these data labels to say what where the um, intervention is it just highlights it's important to highlight where you want the data label so I just want to over the bar chart and I'm going to stick the data label uh, inside the bar chart right in the middle and then I'll click on here so this was free and this one was post intervention we then go ahead and Add in the axes. So um, J 
change in whatever your performance metric is and then also we might um, move the, uh, the, the legend about and then go ahead and add your uh, graph title.